Chris and it's February the 18th and it's a glorious sunny day and today we're going to be looking for lesser celandine. Okay, well it's still a bit early to find these in flower, but um, I found one here. I don't know if you can you can see that clearly. It's got these shiny yellow petals. It's a member of the buttercup family, the ranunculus. Um, apparently these can be used for cleaning your teeth, although I've never tried it. And they do contain a few nasty chemicals when raw, so. I'm not sure if I'd be willing to try that or not, but that's traditional use for them. Okay, so here we have the, the leaves, and as you can see those, they've sometimes got these, these dark and light patches on, and the, the stem is divided sort of got two parts to it. Now although they contain toxins, you can eat the mature leaves and stems once they're cooked, as the toxins are degraded by heat. However, some people may be more sensitive, so always try small amounts at first in case they disagree with you. Um, the young leaves... Well, they're edible. Young leaves can be eaten raw because they've yet to accumulate the toxins. Okay, and rather conveniently a, a rabbit or something has dug up one of these, so you can see the roots. I wouldn't normally dig them up unless I was weeding them out of the garden, but I'm in the woods at the moment. But the rabbit's done the job for me, but um, you can see these, these nodules, these kind of look like tiny little potatoes and these can actually be eaten, they, you've got to cook them, the roots generally are more potent than leaves and as I said the leaves contain toxins and no doubt the roots do as well so yeah they contain the proto -anim anemonin I think it's called which is an irritant that can cause all sorts of problems. So to recap the lesser celandine is probably the only edible ranunculus. The toxins are destroyed by heat, so all parts must be cooked before eating, especially the tubers. However, young leaves contain fewer toxins and can be eaten raw, but don't eat too many. In fact, when eating any wild food for the first time, exercise caution and try a small amount at first in case of an unexpected reaction. And finally, try not to impact on your local ecology by overgathering. If lesser celandine is growing in your local woods, it's very likely growing as a weed in a nearby garden where I'm sure its re removal will be appreciated.